In this video, I'll show you how you can make this super simple baseball poster design in Canva from scratch. First, go into Canva and create new design. Go to custom size and put in 2500 by 3500. The first thing you do is upload your background. I have this lightning background, which you can get on my website. I'll leave the link below. Next is you upload your subject and click on BG remover up top. Once you have your subject centered, you have to adjust the filters to blend it with the background. So I go into edit, then click filters. What you select really depends on your preference. I just selected Flint for this one. Now it's time to make shadows. So first you duplicate your image. Go to edit and click duotone. Select custom and adjust the highlights to black. Then go to blur, click whole image and adjust the intensity to around 80. Next, go to Position, then Layers, and put the duplicated image behind your main subject. Now it's time to create that faded second image. You first upload your second image. Click BG Remover, and then adjust the size of the image. I'm just playing around where to put it on this one. Then I go to do a tone and click classic. I then go to apps and search image blender. So there are two effects for image blender. There's linear and radial. Again, what you use depends on the effect that you're going for. For this poster, I'm just using linear and I'm just adjusting the strength. Click save and you should have your desired effect. I then go to position and I place this image behind the shadow layer. Then I adjust transparency and just play around with the positioning. Now we're gonna create the custom text that goes at the bottom of the design. Select elements, then search gold texture. Again, it really depends what effect you're going for. I just picked this one. Then go to apps and search font frame. So with font frame open, just type in your text, then select which font to use in the dropdown. I just use Anton. Then scroll to outline and make border weight to zero and do the same for projection length. Then just click your texture, and when you click Add to Design, you will have your custom text. From here, you can change the color by clicking Edit, then going to Do a Tone and just playing around with the different colors. I just selected this one, then I duplicated the text and edited the color again to add a shadow. I'm pretty happy with this one so far. So let's just move on to creating more contrast in the poster to make the text pop. So I click elements and then typed in gradient fog. I clicked graphics and used this one.
just make sure it's behind your text. So this is what I did for position. Then I adjusted transparency. Now we're just going to include the first name text. So I click text and used Amsterdam one. I changed the color to white. went into effects and clicked on neon just to add that glow effect. I was playing around with the colors here again for the last name, so I changed it back to a golden orange yellow. We could technically stop here if you're okay with the design, but I wanted to add more effects in the background. So I went ahead and typed in chain and elements removed the background, and just placed it behind the main subject. Then for more effect, I added in a lightning element. So from here I just adjusted the size and made sure it was behind the subject as well and then adjusted the color to match the graphic. To finalize the poster I wanted to add a rustic overlay. So I typed that in elements. Then just placed it just behind my main subject. And there you go.